Today we had a brand new Fortnite update, a new collab announcement, and even some leaks for Creative 2.0 and Winterfest 2022. Let's get into it. So this morning we woke up at 9 a.m. Eastern. We had a brand new hotfix update, but this was bigger than they normally are. Usually they just add one gun or unvault one gun or item. But this time we actually got two new things. Well, one of them was sort of new and an unvaulted item. So we got the new explosive goo gun. This thing has 200 ammo. It used 20 at a time and it basically sticks to surfaces or players and then explodes and deals damage. You can hit some pretty cool clips. You can goo all over your enemies. Oh. And it's pretty strong. You're gonna see some gameplay of it. I do use it once uh, in the background footage. So it's a pretty good item. And then we have the throwable launch pad. Now this thing is really cool in zero build. It's literally just a launch pad. You throw it. Uh, if there's not already a floor, it spawns a metal floor. Other than that, there's not much to it. But for build mode, it's just a launch pad that takes up an inventory slot when they didn't use to take up an inventory slot before. So that's kind of annoying in build, but zero build is pretty good. And then we also have the shield bubble unvaulted. This was a really good item that I feel like it was just forgotten because it was added back in season 10. And that was a pretty bad season. A lot of people didn't play. A lot of people didn't even know that it existed. And then we had a vote for it back in chapter three, season two, but it lost for some reason. But this item is really good, especially in zero build. It's a great item to have. Next up, we had a Black Adam collab announced. So I'm gonna play a trailer for it real quick. The whole set drops into the item shop on October 20th. Next, Creative 2.0 has sort of been leaked. So this guy, FMBR Intel, you can see his watermark is on the pictures. A bunch of leakers were just reposting these. I have no clue how he found this, but he just found a bunch of documents regarding Creative 2.0. If you guys don't know what Creative 2.0 is, it's basically gonna be an update for creative mode that allows creators to use Unreal Engine to make their maps. They're not just restricted to the tools that are actually in Fortnite Creative. They can do whatever they want to in the Unreal Engine. Import custom assets, change code, all that stuff. It's gonna be really cool when it releases. And I guess these guide documents were posted a little early. We do know Creative 2.0 is supposed to release in 2022. There are three more months left, maybe two and a half. They said that it was releasing in 2021 also, and then December 2021, they just said, okay, it's releasing in 2022. So I don't know if it's for sure releasing this year. If it is, I could almost guarantee it's gonna be with next season, possibly next chapters, launch, or maybe, you know, they drop it in the middle of December. Maybe it's a Christmas update. I don't know. I wouldn't bet that it's gonna come out this month or November. If it does come out this year, I would say December. That's if it does come out this year, which I don't know if that's happening. We also had some Winterfest 2022 promo art posted. Basically, Fortnite Creative does this all the time. They post their Halloween and winter and summer stuff really early. So they do these call outs where they basically ask people to build Halloween, Christmas, summer, you know, all those themed maps. And they obviously need to give people time to make these maps. So they post the call out early. And there's usually a render that comes with it that they make that teases the upcoming event. Obviously, we don't really get much from this image, but they do specifically say Winterfest 2022. So we know that it's coming back. We had Winterfest back in 2019. 2020, I believe we had some other random Christmas event. It wasn't Winterfest and it was honestly pretty bad and boring. And then 2021 Winterfest came back and it will be returning this year. That's always a great time in Fortnite. Lastly, just wanted to let you guys know in tonight's item shop, we got two new locker bundles and I am recording the item shop every single day and posting it on TikTok. So I did this before I posted daily item shops on this channel for about two weeks. This was a month ago. It was just kind of an experiment but I feel like there's a whole different demographic on TikTok. Like obviously I talk Fortnite has been doing the item shops every single day for like four years now. So if you wanted to watch the Fortnite item shop on YouTube, you'd go to his channel. He's always gonna be, you know, popping up when you search Fortnite item shop on top of me. So there's really no point in posting on YouTube. And that's not saying that just because someone's already doing something that you can't take that idea and put a spin on it. There's not really any unique spin or twist that I can put on this item shop video whole concept. You just want the viewers to come in, check out the item shop and leave. And so I'm posting on TikTok. I feel like it's a whole different demographic there, whole different audience. If you guys are interested, you can follow that link is in the description. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.